This is history in the making, ladies and gentlemen. Chopin Initiative has brought a very, very important personality for the whole world to see and know the things that he has done. Nobody has really taken time to document all the great works that some very, very important personalities in church music have done, which is why we are doing this right now. My name is Sunit Naladu, and I'm here in the presence of a very, very great man. I've read a lot about him, I've listened to his music personally, and I'm glad to be in his presence, in the person of Mr. James Alipoli. That's it, sir. Welcome to this, sir. So, we're going to be talking about you. We want to know more about you. We've seen your book already, which you wrote some years back. That's Music in Education and Divine Worship. The book you told you called the little book. And just tell us before we go into the meat of the issue, and just tell us why it's the little book. I think about my program. I expected that that question would have to be asked. When I wrote it, uh, I intended it to be very, very small. It isn't that it is now that it's really ready. But when I finished writing it, I approached Mr. Akintola Williams, the gentleman who is responsible for the establishment of the musical society of Nigeria. That's awesome. That's right, Mr. Okay. Where I have been associated with the have been associated for many years. That I was writing, that is when I will retire from that uh, society, yes. I said I was writing a little book. And I want him, please, to write a book. Then I told him that I didn't intend it to be more than a but just an idea that came to my mind during the period my period of life. Mainly the teacher. As I always say people, teaching is my profession. But I would even like to recommend teaching to everybody because of the great lesson that we learn from the teacher. From the team aspect of it. Maybe okay. more. More than that. Okay, sir. That was But uh, let me add that. Mr. Kimberly Williams said, Greens, like him. This thing you caused me, I don't know, I don't think it could be And in his, uh, I call it in his, uh, forward, forward, he says, the book comes out not to be little bit for me, and I will not surprise So you are all right. Yes, thank you very much for that, sir. Who really taught you how to play the organ? God. God taught you how to play the organ. Yes. When I say God, I yes. mean God. Okay. There's nobody else that I say taught me. Nobody did. God put the interest in me. Then uh, I was lucky to live with um, church people. Living with them does not mean knowing it, but God put it into me and uh, I had to follow his directive and uh, Starting with as a, a husband to uh, a reverend gentleman, and uh, I became a chorister. And being a chorister does not mean a selling in to motive in church music. I have often said that you have church music. And you have music in the church. The difference between them is one is liturgical, the other is non liturgical. And what we do these days, or what I have had people do these days, is that 
some things which are not in the world have been infiltrated in the second in practical sentences. I'll give a clear example. Some years ago, we were here. Shoroki, Shoroki. Yes, Then the next thing I was, I had it. Jesus, Jesus. It's not the church. But it sometimes can be transferred into the church. They just read something around it and make it look like. But you don't. Sometimes, um, songs that I use at birth days are just closed somehow and transferred into the church. These are not liturgical songs. Brown is a member parishioner of Christ Church Cathedral of Marina, uh, where good music is always joined on every Sunday. He also has a musical background and from a pedigree that is, uh, has a solid music foundation. He is the son of uh, late Mrs. Ellie Tom Pratt. Uh, and um, his sister also was the only mm -hmm. and retired master of music of Cathedral of Christ Marina, Mrs. Toby Evangelist. And uh, Mr. Brown is here to also discussions or share questions uh, with Mr. Adekunle. First of all, before you, you ask, you are welcome, sir. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you. It's a pleasure to see you. I'm um, about my four years in Bayford, myself, and to lose first three years. She entered when I was in the second year. Okay. So she did in many three. So I left the year before her. Oh, really? That's a deal for the school of music. Yes, yes. Yes. I want to remark that she is one of the most gentle ladies that I've met in the world. Really? Yes. Most of them, she didn't talk. She is gentle. How do you know she was gentle? Did you try to get close to her? No, to you know, know her uh, gentle? We were not in the same class, uh, but. but Seeing her among other students, she was. Well, was she the only one you saw? Then didn't you see other students? I was not particular about her. Uh, because uh, she was, uh, she came from my own country. Okay. Then I wouldn't have expected her to act in a very, in a way that would uh, single her out as not being. Gentle, I use the word gentle. So, um, she was very fine and very. Okay. I guess you can help me out with what I'm driving at. What of you say to the lady me to hit the nail on the head? And my papa knows where I'm going. Okay. Did you toast her? Okay, so. No. 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 So, so I'm, saying, I'm saying this to say that I'm glad to have met Amber. Oh, great. That's nice. Thank you very much, sir. I think with Mr. Adekunle, he is enough to celebrate. He's an octogenarian, he's the oldest serving organist in Nigeria, well, to the best of my knowledge. Um, he's going to be 84, and he still plays every Sunday in his church. You get to Ebutero at 7.30, between 7.30 and 8 o'clock, Mr. Adekunle is by the piano or the organ. There are a lot of things to celebrate about him. He's the longest serving organist in just one church, which is a record. He's been an organist since 1962 and has not ventured into any other church uh, or religious organization to, to play. 
which is something commendable and very noteworthy and uh, enough to celebrate. He's also the first uh, director of music in Musan. Um, he was also a very, very um, popular um, or dedicated teacher, music teacher in King's College, Lagos. So, all these um, accomplishments are enough to celebrate and to honor Mr. Adekunle on his own. Jacobs. Uh, well, um, I've known uh, James Akonikoli before I ever met him. Uh, there was a time he came to my church in Ibadan, in St. Anne's Church. And, uh, he advised me about my playing. That was the first time I met him. So I've heard a lot about him. Then I was so surprised when I saw him. He, he just came to the organ and played something for me on the organ and I was like, wow, this old man, ah, I still play something like this. So ever since then, I, I had interest in him. I wanted him to teach me. Then, so, through the process, during the process, I got admitted into Muson. Then to my biggest surprise, I saw that he is a teacher to teach me. He should be the, I mean, he's supposed to be the teacher to teach me in the, in the the most, the most like me. So I was surprised when I met him. The first class was so amazing. So I couldn't forget the lesson he taught me when we met him. But so now he has really refined my music and made me a better musician. I mean, a better artist. 